B as in bumblebee. X795. Otherwise, BX795 was a relatively innocuous substance until purely by accident, BX795 did something it was not supposed to do. It basically cleared herpes simplex virus dash one from the cell. What is normally supposed to happen is BX795 is supposed to inhibit something called TBK-1 or tank binding kinase dash one. And by doing this, it's supposed to make things worse, but it didn't. It had a totally counterintuitive effect to the researchers and by the researchers remaining open-minded, made an incredible discovery purely by accident and observation. With that, a mile, let's go right into the research as follows. A new class of drug to treat herpes simplex virus infection, HSV-1. Infection is a leading cause of infectious blindness in the United States, or I should say one of them. Research at the University of Illinois Chicago have now identified a small drug molecule that can clear. That word clear is important. You'll understand more why in a second. The HS, HSV-1 infection in the cells of the cornea, the clear outer layer of the eyeball, and work completely differently than the currently available drugs, making a promised potential option for patients who have developed resistance. This is not something that's just being researched. This is something which is barely available and researchers can order online. And I'll show you the information towards that at the end of the clip. This is how the accident, or I should say the researchers stumbled upon such an incredible discovery to proceed. The researchers were quite surprised by their finding because BX795 is known as an inhibitor of TBK1, an enzyme involved in innate immunity and neuroinflammation. When TBK is suppressed in cells, infection is actually promoted normally. But when the researchers added higher concentrations of BX795 to cultured human corneal and cells infected with HSV-1, herpes simplex virus-1, the infection was quickly cleared. They had the same result in intact human corneas and the, in mice whose eyes had been infected with HSV-1. With this in mind, well, let me proceed first and I'll go more into exactly how the research explain how it works. This isn't what we expected to quote the researcher. Basically, instead of promoting infection at higher concentrations, the substance, which the only name it has currently is BX795, actually helped the cells clear the infection. Even better yet, the researchers also found that BX795 only worked in cells infected with the HSV-1 virus. To proceed with the methodology in this clip right here, to quote the research once again, we have found a molecule that works in a totally novel fashion. Instead of working on the virus, it works in the host cells and helps them to clear the virus. With that in mind, that now opens the door, as uh, stated further, or I should say prior, to HSV-1, HSV-2, and potentially HIV. To proceed, there was no discernible toxicity or negative side effects at the therapeutic concentrations in cells that are not infected with the virus, quote the researcher, because BX795 targets a common pathway that many viruses use to replicate inside the cell. It could be a new kind of broad spectrum antiviral that might be used to treat other viral infections, including HSV-2, which primarily affects the genitals, and HIV, although we have not yet tested it on the viruses other than HSV-1. An incredible, incredible discovery made purely by accident and observed by researchers who kept an open mind to observe and record what was actually occurring when they added BX795 and just didn't assume, oh, there must be a mistake and threw the research away and started over again. Incredible, incredible. BX795, potentially non-toxic, healthy to normal cells, tends to only affect the cells infected with the HSV-1 and potentially others as they do more clinicals. And a cool part about it is to show right here, Researchers can easily order it online per se, and I'm only putting this up there for the researchers who want to further it. As you can see, it's easily available, as well as too, for anyone else, the DOI I'll list with the links to the full study. The full study methodology, what they did, everything else in regards to the results is fully public and free to anyone who wants to review more on their own. Again, this is Router Channel signing off. Look forward to see you all once again in seven days. I hope you find this information of use but incredibly promising just the same. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you all next week.
拜。